Brachot Perak Aleph Mishnah Bet. Me'ematai Korun et Shema B'Shachrit. Here's a parallel language exactly to the previous Mishnah, but instead of Arvit, we're talking about Shachrit now. Mimatai, from when could we read Kriyat Shema in the morning? When's the earliest time to say the morning Kriyat Shema? The Mishnah answers, Misha Yakir Bein Techelet Lulavan. Once it's late enough, light enough, to see the difference between blue and white, to distinguish between something the color blue and something the color white. Rabbi Eliezer Omer Bein Techelet Lekarti. Rabbi Eliezer disagrees and says, disagrees with the Tanakama, and he says that it has to be even lighter, light enough to distinguish between the color blue from the color green. Clearly, both of these views are talking about before sunrise. Once the sun rises, it's quite light outside. But before sunrise, after dawn, when the rays of the sun start to come above the horizon and it starts to get light out, how light does it have to be to say Shema? Light enough to tell the difference between either blue and white, according to Tanakama, or blue and green, according to Rebbe Le'ezer. The Mishnah continues, HaKorei Mikan Ve'elech, if you read after this time, Lo Hifsid, don't worry, you don't lose by doing that. Ke'adam HaKorei Ba'Torah, because it's like someone who's reading the Torah. On the surface, the mission seems to be saying that there's no Avera, there's no bracha levatala to say Shema after the time for Shema passes, after Zaman Kriyat Shema, because Shema is Pesukim from the Torah. If you're reading Pesukim from the Torah, you get a mitzvah of learning Torah, of Torah study. There's no Avera to read Torah, Pesukim, outside of the context of Shema. So you don't lose by saying Shema. Continuing now with Parak Aleph Mishnah Gimel. Beit Shammai Omrim. Beit Shammai say, Ba'erev, at night, Kol Adam Yatu V'yikru. At night, when you say the Shema, everyone should lie down when they say Shema. Uba Boker, and when you say Shema in the morning, Ya'amodu, you should stand for Shema. Shenemar, because of the Pasuk, Bishach Becha Uvekumecha. The Pasuk, which was familiar to us from the text of the Shema itself, says that you say Shema, B'Shach B'cha U'B'Kumecha, when you're down at night, and B'Kumecha when you get up in the morning. So Beit Shammai takes us literally and says, the Shema at night should be B'Shach B'cha when you're lying down, and the Shema in the morning should be B'Kumecha when you're standing up in the morning. U'Beit Hillel Omim, and Beit Hillel say, Kol Adam Kore Kedarko. Beit Hillel say, that's not necessary, or maybe it's not even appropriate. Beit Hillel say there's no need to lie at night or stand in the morning. Shenamar, because his pasuk is, U'belechtecha b'derech. That Shema is supposed to be, U'belechtecha b'derech, that same pasuk, which says, B'shach b'chav kumecha, says also, U'belechtecha b'derech. When you're going on your way, however you're going. Im Cain, if so, Lama Namar Bishak Bakhov Kumecha. If it's supposed to be said however you want, why does the Torah say Bishak Bakhov Kumecha? Bit Hillel answers himself, Bishaa Shebine Adam Shokhvim. It's at a time when people lie down, Ubishaa Shebine Adam Umdim. When it says Bishak Bakhov Kumecha, it's not referring to the posture of the person when he says Shema, but rather it's referring to the time period when Shema should be said. Shema should be said during the time of day that people go to sleep at night, and Shema should be said in the morning at the time that people are getting up. But the posture is as you are, however you are, when you're saying Shema. The Mishnah concludes with a story, an anecdote. I'm at Rabbi Tarfon. I was once traveling. Vihiteti likrot, and I lie down. Seems like on the on the road or on the, on the side of the road, he lie down to recite Shema Kedivrei Beit Shammai, to follow the words of Beit Shammai. Visikanti beatzmi mipnei halistim, and Rabbi Tarfon says, I realized that I had, I had endangered myself by lying down on the side of the road because of bandits, because of robbers. Amrulo. Um, his colleagues told him to Rabbi Tarfon, Kedai hayita lachuv 
You brought it on yourself. You're responsible for the risk that you took for yourself. If you would have been harmed, it would have been your own fault. She'avarta al divrei Beit Hillel. Because you violated Beit Hillel. You should have known better. You know the halacha follows Beit Hillel.